lift up Dwayne Wade and his like unapologetic love for his daughter. Recently I had an opportunity to have a conversation about trans identity, about trans folks, trans women, trans men, and being able to say, let's talk about the rage around this man saying I love my child. What is that rage about for you? What are you upset? Well, it's because he gotta tell she, he, she, he, well, they can't do that. It's like, so why does it upset you that he has loved this child unapologetically? And what we ended up getting to after a lot of defensiveness was that didn't feel real for some people. It can't be real, it's gotta be fake. Also, oh, the, the rage at the core of it is you don't believe it because you don't believe that kind of love is possible. So now I'm asking you, so what is your experience with your father? Well, my dad was this. Okay, now we're getting some clarity. My dad didn't love me because I didn't do this and I didn't do this right. So I don't know how you're gonna love his child. Exactly, right? Recognizing how these things, these pop culture things, trigger and activate wounds that go much deeper than the surface. Because on one layer, it's the transphobia. You dig a little deeper, it's not even about transphobia. It's about you and your daddy. Or you and your mama, right? We're seeing all that in there. The initial question was just, what initiates rage when a black father says, I love my child? What does that say when you are mad? You are upset that he loves this child, that he loves his daughter. And so that, I want to lift up Dwayne Wade for being an example that the culture could use for a conversation.